good morning everyone so as you can see today we are going to revise our topic from uh, grammar and that's tenses all right so once again this is your revision class fine the video i'm uploading for revision purpose okay go through the points that i am explaining here and just write the sentences using the following fine now tenses we can we can uh, see here some examples are given so read the following sentences i play football today here we are using v1 the first form of the verb you played football yesterday so v2 second form of the verb we have used in this sentence now third sentence he will play football tomorrow so here will or shall with v1 first form of the verb we are using okay now let's see what is given related to these sentences in sentence number one the verb play refers to present time because in present time we use first form of the verb fine in sentence two the verb played refers to past time because in past tense or past indefinite we use second form of the verb okay in sentence third the verb will play refers to future time okay because in future we use will shall fine so that is why we can say these uh, sentences are related first sentence is of present tense second past tense and third one is of future tense okay so same is given here thus a verb may refer to present time past time or future time the tense if of a verb shows the time of an action or event okay this is this line is very important okay the tense of the verb shows the time of an action or event all right now there are three main types of tenses in english so that we have read already okay number one is present tense number two the past tense number third the future tense so what is present tense we will see here a verb that refers to present time is said to be in the present tense okay now it is actually depending on the verb okay by the verb only we can get to know where that whether the tense which is given is present past or future all right so the definition which is given here <clears throat> a verb that refers to present time is said to be in the present time tense okay for example some examples are given here you can see i play okay he rides you sing second example we will see a verb that refers to past time is said to be in the past tense examples we can see i played he wrote you sang okay these are the examples of okay if i'll talk about future tense so the future tense a verb refers to future time okay it's said to be in the future tense examples we can see i shall play he will play you will sing okay these are the examples of future tense fine now each of these three tenses have four forms which are given here all right which denote various shades of meaning all right now number 1 i write this is the example of simple present i am writing is an example of present continuous all right and third i have written that is example of present perfect now fourth one we will see i have been writing so this is an example of present perfect continuous okay rules we will discuss later on but right now we just have to understand all right that there are four forms of each tense okay present past and future are having four forms simple continuous perfect perfect continuous now the verb in the above sentences refers to present time therefore these sentences are in the present tense they however express different shades of meaning okay their meaning is different all are in present tense but their meaning is different depending on the forms okay a simple present is denoting something else present continuous is different and perfect is denoting the other shade or the different shade of meaning okay so 
Number one, A point is given. The simple form simply states an action. It doesn't say anything whether the action is completed or not. Okay, simply a, a simple state or action is described through simple form. All right. Now, if we talk about continuous form, the continuous form indicates that the action is in progress. It's, it, it is still going on. Okay, the work is in progress. The perfect form indicates that the action has been completed or perfected. Fine. Now, fourth one, if we talk about perfect continuous, then the perfect continuous forms shows that the action which began sometimes before is still continuing. Okay. That is the meaning of perfect conti continuous. Fine. Thus, the tense of the verb shows not only the time of an action or event, but also the state of an action. Okay. We uh, may now define tense as the form of a verb which shows the time at which an event occurs and the degree of completeness or incompleteness of an action, of the action. Fine. Just as the present tense has four forms, the past tense also have the four forms. I wrote i was writing okay more example two more e okay next example third i had uh, written that is past perfect i had been writing that is past perfect continuous okay similarly the future tense has the four uh, following four forms number one i shall write this is the example of simple future i shall be writing future continuous tense i shall have written future perfect i shall have been writing this is example of future perfect continuous all right now all these sentences are in the active voice okay this topic beta i have already explained okay active and passive voice all these are the examples of active voice all right because the verb here okay denotes the action and shows about that uh, about uh, the sentence that that is actually an active voice or in passive one fine thus there are 12 forms of the chances in the active voice but there are only eight in the passive voice okay this i have already taught fine the following tense table will the first person singular as the doer of the action will make the difference clear now we will see the table all right In this table, we are watching the rules of the tenses, okay? So, first of all, tense, there are three types of tenses, present tense, past tense and future tense, okay? Every tense is having four forms that we can see or we can say it's four subparts. Number one is simple or indefinite. Number two, continuous. Number third, perfect. Number fourth, perfect, continuous, all right? If we talk about the rule, that we can see here in present tense we have to use first form of the verb with plural and with singular first form of the verb plus with that s or es all right in continuous form oh sorry the example in simple present is i write a letter okay continuous tense the rule of present continuous is is a mark plus first form of the verb plus ing all right so example is given I am writing a letter. Now in perfect tense we have to use has have plus has or have plus the third form of the verb. Example I have written a letter. Now perfect continuous has or have plus been plus v1 plus ing. Okay. Example we can see I have been writing a letter. Now next past tense. Simple past the rule is whether the subject is one or more than one. We have to use the second form of the verb. I write a letter. In continuous, we have to use was or were. Was with singular, were with plural. With helping verb, we have to use v1 plus ing. Remember one thing, in continuous form, we have to use v1 plus ing. If it is present, then is a ma. If it is past, then was were. If it is future, then will shall. Okay. Now, the uh, next is perfect. Uh, example first of all rule is had whether the subject is one or more than one means singular or plural we have to use had plus third form example we can see i had written a letter now perfect continuous Ex uh, rule is 
had plus been plus v1 plus ing fine and uh, in past tense past perfect continuous we have to use helping verb had whether the subject is one or more than one fine now next we talk about future tense i shall write a letter so will or shall plus first form of the verb we have to use in future tense all right shall with first person pronoun except first person pronoun we will use with other subject we will use will all right first person pronouns are i and we now continuous we have to use will or shall plus b plus v1 plus i and g okay this is the rule that we have to follow in case of future continuous fine now perfect in case of future perfect we have to use will or shall plus have plus third form of the verb all right so example which is given that is i shall have written a letter next is future perfect continuous uh, rule is will or shall plus have plus been plus v1 plus ing example i shall have been writing a letter all right so this is the rule that we have to follow okay of tenses all right okay now we will uh, study all these tenses in details okay i want everybody to concentrate here what i am teaching through this all right this is very important if you will go through properly if you will watch and understand then you will not have any problem in your entire life when you will go to use the tenses fine now use of the tenses use of present tense first of all we will see so in present tense we will do simple present present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous okay so today we will do present tense all right in my next video we will uh, just uh, you know we will uh, see uh, and we will understand the tenses separately okay in this video uh, we will do present tense all right so first of all structure we can see uh, in case of active voice the rules of the tenses we follow with active voice all right so rule is subject plus first form of the verb okay and in passive we have to use subject plus b b means is am a all right plus past participle past participle is the third form of the verb okay this we have to use and remember one thing beta here the first form of the verb is according to the singular uh, singularity and plurality of the subject okay here we are considering it as plural subject fine in case of singular we will see okay now let's do the formation and the examples of present tense present uh, indefinite i mean so formation number one in affirmative sentences okay means positive sentences with i we you they or plural noun use first form of the verb only first form nothing else we will use okay but uh, with he she it or any singular noun use the first form plus s or es okay this is the rule and this is very important to understand now example we can see i read a book okay second mohan reads a book so here in second sentence where mohan is given okay as mohan is similar subject so we are using read v1 plus s with it all right in negative sentences i v you they or plural noun are followed by do not remember one thing do or does are the helping verbs in present indefinite all right do in plural does with singular subject we use all right so he she it or singular noun are followed by doesn't or does not examples we can see so he singular subject he does not play football now if we talk about plural subject the boys do not sing a song all right now next interrogative sentence we will see in interrogative sentences place do or does before the subject and the first form of the verb after the subject example we can see do you play football does anil sing a song 
so basically the helping verbs do or does we have to write in the beginning in case of yes no type of question fine so this is how we have to do it if the same question will be of wh family then the wh word will come in the beginning okay suppose uh, just take it like first example do you play football we can write it what do you play okay in second sentence does anil sing a song <clears throat> we can write it what does anil sing okay now uses this is very important so uh, to express an event taking place at the present moment we use present indefinite for example i i live in model town second he reads in 10th class fourth there goes the bell fifth i mean third that was third there goes the bell fourth here comes the postman all right now next point why do we use it second point b point to express a general truth or a permanent truth we use present indefinite for example the earth moves around the sun this is a permanent truth okay two and two make four honest honesty pays in the long run okay so all these are examples of present indefinite next c point to express daily routine or a habit or custom we have to use present indefinite examples for examples are given here we can see i get up at 6 am every day so this is my habit this is my routine so that is why we have to use present indefinite here you always speak the truth that is also an habit all right so he goes out for a walk every day again it's a routine or daily okay daily work or routine of somebody so the Hin hindus burn their dead so this is a custom fine so that is why we will use here present indefinite okay so present continuous uh here we have done it all right to read to uh this is for quote someone we use present indefinite kid says a thing of beauty is a joy forever all right now next we will see present continuous tense structure we will understand okay subject plus asma plus v1 plus ing all right in passive voice we do not change the tense so same asma we will use ing will be there with being okay b plus ing so being plus past participle means the third form of the verb now formation we will see here in affirmative sentences use of is with he she it or singular noun am with i and are with we you they and a plural, plural noun examples we can see hari is reading a book the children are playing in the field okay these are the examples now negative sentence in negative sentences not is placed between the helping verb and the main verb example Hari is not reading a book. The boys are not playing in the field. Okay. Now third sentence kind of sentence that is interrogative sentence. A question sentence. The helping verb is placed between before the subject. Example. Is Hari reading a book? Are the boys playing in the field? Question mark. Now use. The present continuous tense is often used with the words still, now, nowadays okay at this time at present at the moment and in the following cases okay number one to express an action which is going on at the time of speaking for example sudha is reading a novel now we are waiting for the school bus at the moment okay second point to denote an action which is likely to happen in the near future we are holding a meeting tomorrow the schools are closing next Monday for the summer vacation. Alright, so these are the cases where we have to use present continuous tense. Now third is present perfect tense structure we will understand. Subject plus has or have plus third form of the verb plus object. Okay, has with singular, have with plural and its passive will be subject plus has or have plus been plus third form of the verb now formation in case of affirmative 
has have are to be used according to the subject use has with he she it and singular nouns and have with i we you they and plural nouns for example i have lost my pen she has finished her work now in negative sentences place not between the verb and helping verb i have not lost my pen she has not finished her work all right these are two examples we can see here now in interrogative sentences the helping verb has or have comes before the subject usage we can see the present perfect tense is used with the words yet as yet so far even since already just just now presently only twice etc and in the following cases number 1 to denote an action which has fin has uh, just fin been completed for example i have solved two questions so far my brother has returned from mumbai presently all right to express an action having uh, having taken place in the past and continuing in the present for example i have known him for 3 years we have lived here for 10 years all right so this is how we will do we will make the use of this all right uh one thing is not given here fine interrogative examples are not given so if you want to write just write it there so example of interrogative in present per, uh, perfect will be have you completed your work okay has you finished your work or has has you eaten have you eaten something has she completed her task okay these are the example what has she done okay what what have they spoken so these are the example of interrogative sentences in case of present perfect tense all right now we will do fourth tense of present and that is present perfect continuous tense structure we will see subject plus has or have plus been plus verb plus ing form okay so formation in case of affirmative sentences has been okay or has been with singular have been with plural is used according to the subject before first form of the verb plus ing for example he has been waiting for you, uh, for you for one hour they have been living in this house since 1970 okay now next second sentence in a negative sentence not is placed between has or have and been as for example it has not been raining since morning they have not been playing for two hours now third kind in negative sentences has or have are placed before the subject and been uh, follows the subject as has he been waiting for you for one hour have they been living in this house since 1970 so these are the example all right now use the present perfect continuous tense is sat number 1 to express an action which began in the past but still going on as for example she has been reading a book since morning all right i have been suffering from uh, fever for two days okay and yes one more thing you have to keep in your mind for uh, showing the duration we have to use uh for helping a uh, for a uh, preposition and for showing the point of time we have to use since preposition all right so next point we will see to express an action which began in the past and has been just completed but whose result is still in the present examples my clothes are dirty because i have been washing my car okay i have been cleaning my room since morning and i am very much tired now next to express an action in a sentence which begins with for how long or since when as examples since when have you been waiting for me for how long has he been suffering from fever all right so these are the examples of the same now one exercise is given here all right on the basis of this on the basis of present you can see here okay 
so you have to do this exercise yourself all right and you have to send this to me fine yes so remaining options you can see here a b were given there and now c d e f these options are given okay you have to choose one which will come in that those blanks okay and you have to do it only number one you will do remaining second third and uh, those you will not do okay you have to do only number uh, for first exercise okay now i hope you have understood how you have to do that's all from my side now in my next video i'll upload past and future tense till the time i want you people to go through this video and understand the concept okay thank you so much take care of yourself